My name is Matt Ornstein, and I'm here with Accidental Courtesy, Daryl Davis Race in America. Accidental Courtesy is about Daryl Davis, who is a professional musician, but his hobby, maybe his passion, if you will, is meeting and often befriending various white supremacists. I read a newspaper story about Daryl and was sort of fascinated by the uh, seeming contradiction and impossibility of, of, of his quest. And I sort of wanted to know more about him and why he did it and what he achieved from it. Which I, after spending all this time on it, I feel like I have a little bit better handle on it, but still don't have a complete answer to it, really. In theory, it's much more uncomfortable than it was. In practice, Daryl is so comfortable with them that at some point you sort of forget about it. Certainly, sometimes things are said during the course of the film, which are not that appetizing. I didn't necessarily shake hands with everyone at the end, but <laughs> it was always pleasant to shoot for sure. You know, he's fighting a long-term, it's a war of attrition. It's, it's a erosion over time. He's not trying to convert someone that day. He's not trying to hard sell them. He believes that ultimately he will win out because he's correct. And in some instances, he's been right. I mean, he already was a media figure, but we did MSNBC and Rolling Stone and a bunch of other larger things. And I, I think when the film actually gets released, there'll be more of it. And uh, of the characters in the film that are reformed white supremacists, the final one in it found Daryl because he read an article. And he saw him on TV on the Discovery Channel and then sought him out. And so my hope or my instinct is that as this film, if this film you know, becomes better known and Daryl does as well, he may get a whole new crop of people that seek him out that are still in, in the movement or want to leave it or just did. And uh, that may well wind up being the biggest help of all. <laughs>